formal of 400 parts per million. So the dangerous levels, the OSHA standards in America say that as an employee or if you're in a room, if it is above 2,000 parts per million carbon dioxide, it's a toxic and dangerous environment. And as an employer, you can actually be held to account for working. You, you are not allowed to work in it. And when you wear the mask for more than a minute, you are breathing in more than 5,000, almost 8,000 parts per million. And actually on the space shuttle and on uh, nuclear submarines, you are, once they reach a level of over 5,000 parts per million, it has to actually come up because it's actually a life-threatening and dangerous environment. Yeah. So within a minute, the masks are exposing people who wear them, including children and everybody, to a toxic environment that actually holds the employers you know, if you're a waitress or anyone working, or if you are forced to wear a mask in a shop, and you know, people, we need high amounts of oxygen. You can die within minutes. So what, why we have been looking at notice of liability is that anyone, a principal or a teacher or an employer, they are actually putting your life at risk. And so what we're saying is they, the individual person, when they are doing something that actually causes more harm than good, they are actually themselves personally liable. So the business, the employer, the individual teacher, the principal, if a child dies, so we know there has been two deaths of 14-year-olds in Germany. So a precedence case would be for the teacher and the principal to be held to account for contributing to that death. And these are the kind of actions that we want to take because they are causing serious harm to these children and to people. And so I would say the masks, you know, are actually causing serious harm to people and uh, they should be stopped immediately. Thank you very Thank much. You.